Hello, welcome back. Right, as you can see, it's issue number 56, the September 1988 edition of Crash Magazine. I'm uh, going to have a flick through this, as ever. Um, any games that sort of uh, jog your memory, please share it up in the comments below with um, your memories, etc. Uh, slightly different edition from the one I was going to be doing, um, because I spilt pot noodle all over it, as you can see. I've had to put a towel on the bed, my Grand Canaria towel. Um, but anyway, let's uh, go into it. I'm in the doghouse a bit at the moment. Uh, right, okay. So going into it, we've got a double page spread for... Um, 1943 now i've never played the game any good we have an advert for daily thompson's olympic challenge of course 1988 was the year of the seoul olympics uh famous for ben johnson etc uh, and his cheating ways um it's basically uh, decathlon with uh, much nicer graphics i do actually have this uh you got a music cassette with it and also a poster uh, for all the events that you could fill in, etc. Right, okay, so there we go. Contents table. Advert for Gremlin Games, Mickey Mouse. Um, T-Rex, uh, one that I don't know at all. Gary Lineker's Super Skills and Skate Crazy. Never played any of those. We have some news about... Um, da -da -da, Small feature about Daley Thompson and the uh, Olympic Challenge. Uh, US Gold striking a deal with Pepsi. Uh, do, 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 do. A little bit there about uh, Microprose. And some of the Codemasters games testers. Now bear in mind this is 30 years old. These have all got to be sort of uh, knocking um, in their mid-30s to 40s now. The games testers, uh, little darlings, uh, eight-year-old William. John and Annie uh, testing some of the games there. I think that's actually quite a cute picture, that. Uh, I wonder if they've ever seen it since uh, it was taken. Um, some stuff from the National Computer Games Championships, where uh, various games were played. I think it was 1943. So they were playing it before it had been released. Yeah, if you took part in that... Um, event let me know or anything similar advert for NatWest here we have the review for Overlander from Hewson now I never played this I've seen videos about it it seems okay um, again please share your thoughts etc as to whether or not you enjoyed this and crash give it a very very decent 85% score um, opposite the score for the next game featured on the page, which is Stop Ball from, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> from Mastertronic, which I don't know. Um, but yeah, it looks uh, a little bit hideous, uh, uh, according to Crash. Again, um, have you played it? 19, part one, boot camp, um, based on the song by Paul Hardcastle. Not really a song, was it? Uh, or was it uh, from Cascade? who are sort of like mostly known, I suppose, for the atrocious Cassette 50 uh, compilations. But um, they did do other games, including this um, Ace, uh, Ace 2088. I think, well, I think they were Cascade games. And this was supposed to get a sequel, which was never released. Now, it looks like it's a kind of combat school um, type affair. Again, uh, you know what I'm going to say. I've never played this one, but if, um, if you have any... Um, memories of it or any recollections then please uh post them below it looks like a, a really really good little game and I, I remember it reviewing quite well across all the sort of magazines um and indeed crash gives it uh, 91 percent advert for netherworld from hewson um not a massively great uh box art sort of thing there but um okay enough i suppose advert for history in the making the Games Winter Edition from... Who's this from? This is from Epics and US Gold. Um, the Games games were a bit of a mixed bag on the spectrum. Uh, Winter Games was excellent. Uh, California Games is absolutely abysmal. And there are there's a compilation of, called Gold, Silver, Bronze where um, they release Summer Games 1 and Summer Games 2. And they're okay on the spectrum. They only ever came out on that... Um, 
on that compilation skateboard kids from silverbird at least i think they only came out i don't think they were ever standalone releases skateboard kids from uh silverbird again not one baz is massively familiar with but a fairly decent 68 percent not bad for a two quid special t-rex from gremlin graphics now this one looks really nice um and it's one that i've never seen before uh, sort of great big giant dinosaurs, sort of like Rampage style game. Um, it reviews really, really well um, and gets 80%. Diamond from Destiny Software. Never heard of Destiny. Um, uh, looks like a sort of shoot em up type game. Uh, duh, duh, duh. And that does well as well, 70%. Hey! An advert for the Commodore 64 in Crash. <laughs> Good Lord. Uh, competition. Um, there is a solar-powered Walkman. Now, we remember Walkmans, don't we, chaps? Having to carry around packets of batteries. A Discman as well. God, I had one of those. And it, although it was supposed to be portable, um, it didn't have any kind of anti-jog sort of device on it. So I could only really listen to it when I was sat at the table. Um, good quality, though. Advert for Great Guyana Sisters, which of course um, Nintendo had pulled. I think it was released, it made retail on the Commodore, but I don't think the Spectrum version ever did. And it was given a Crash Smash. Um, and I think there's kind of um, some sort of uh, hypothesis that um, the game never existed, um, other than those sort of screenshots that were shown in the uh, in the Crash um, edition because nothing's ever sort of like turned up um hot shots uh from addictive games and advert we go to the letters page and this chap here um goes on about um sort of generation gaps and you know people not um or, or sort of like respecting um younger game players etc um usual sort of like moans and groans in relation to uh various things in the um in the let's pages uh da, 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 airborne ranger don't know it playing tips for marauder nebulous uh cheat of the month is for whatever game that is uh what's that is that north star or something no it's not uh mask three by the sorry cheat mode motel not cheat of the month <laughs> Uh, advert for very colourful advert for Beyond the Ice Palace. Advert, it's a map, isn't it? Twit. Uh, the Race Against Time, which I think is a Codemasters game, but one of their full price ones, if I uh, recall correctly. Might be wrong. Advert for Salamander from Imagine. Excuse my uh, big toe in the way there. Uh, another map for uh, something or other. Another advert for a um, CD player. And um, for the, a few months in uh, this year, um, Crash featured, had a monthly sort of feature of uh, Raphael Checo whilst he was developing um, Stormlord. And this is uh, obviously uh, from July 1988. It's um, saying there, as you can see, picture of his flashy XR2. It's quite an interesting um, article, that. Barbarian 2, Dungeon of Drax. I love the first game, and I put the uh, the sequel down as one of the most disappointing sequels ever. I really don't like Barbarian 2. Uh, win a holiday to Egypt. I wonder who won that. Advert for the personal computer show. Uh, big old feature about um, schools and... Uh, computers in education etc the adventure trail now i tend to just sort of like flick through these because i never apart from like the hobbit um never ever played many if any um adventure games so this is all a, a sort of blank canvas to me the adventure games there's something that never really held my um uh interest much uh, that's a very very nice <laughs> Box art for uh, GI Hero from Firebird. 
And we now get into a bit of an in-depth um, PC showcase, um, sorry, personal computer show, showcase um, special, which was held at Earl's Court the September the 16th to the 18th, 1988. So 31 years ago next week. Now, I never went to any of these things uh, apart from one ZX Micro Fair in um, 1985, uh, where I bought Jet Set Willy 2 and uh, I think it was just Jet Set Willy 2. Actually, um, that was at uh, the Royal Horticultural Hall in uh, Elverton Street, just around the corner from uh, Victoria Station. So, Ocean's Stand there. Everyone was there. All the big hitters would uh, put stands out, as you would expect. Advert for the Pepsi Challenge. Microsoft had this thing sort of going on there. Uh, Atari uh, was shown to have the biggest stand. Uh, Newsfield Publications, obviously Crash Magazine were going to be there. Uh, da, da, da. Lots and lots, features on uh, lots and lots of, that's the layout of um, how it was all going to be set up and where you could find the Crash people, just there. Sprawling old place it looks, never been in old school. Adverts for some joysticks, now I've never seen this thing. Have any of you ever seen that, or had it, or used it? Never seen one. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So you can see this is quite an extensive uh, preview of um, the PC show. Advert for Night Raider. Uh, and we're still um, in the PC show uh, preview. And we're finally out of it. So let's have a look and see what the charts were according to Crash. So we have Target Renegade, Cybernoid, Match Day 2. That's an excellent sort of top 20. Look at um, Match Day 1 is uh, is in there. Um, bear in mind that game would have been around four years old by the time this, uh, this was released. So that's um, interesting. Uh, the Match Day 2 challenge between Crash and... Uh, the readers now remember um, Crash did one about the original match day as well and there you go there's a photo to look back on if uh, if you're around and you uh, recognise yourself please shout out advert for power pyramids from Quicksilver Play-by-mail stuff. Gary Lineker's Hot Shots. Before his uh, crisp-selling Match of the Day days. Screen art. The Christians, remember them. Harvest for the World. Some really good examples of um, screen art here. Empire of the Sun. That's that gold, silver, bronze thing I was telling you about with the um, Spectrum versions of uh, Summer Games 1 and 2 on. Fanzine Files, advert for where time stood still. I've never played it, I don't think, anyway. Um, tech Niche, I used to just skim through this back in the day as well. Um, makes no sense to me, all this bit. Uh, US Gold advert, some, uh, some of their games. We've got Road Blaster, Shackled, Bionic Commando, Dream Warrior, Desolator, Rolling Thunder, Gauntlet 2, Outrun, Bad Cat, and 720. Uh, don't know what this bit is. Oh, that's a Mel Croucher article. Um, some budget re-releases uh, reviewed. We have some really good games in this way. The Exploding Fist. Um from Encore 199 Bruce Lee 299 uh, Dan Dare excellent game that is Starquake again another fantastic game um, Ultimate The Collected Works not quite a budget re-release but um, how much was that? £13 on cassette I believe that goes for uh, quite a good sum nowadays if you can get it complete someone can perhaps fill me in on that uh, Spectrum version of Iridium which I never minded. I thought that was quite good. Airwolf. Uh, I have a love-hate relationship with that game. 
Uh, Bomb Jack, brilliant arcade conversion. Suivo's World from Gargoyle initially. Mars Port, also from Gargoyle initially. Action Reflex. And the Way of the Exploding Fist, which has an advert, uh, sorry, a picture of Saboteur in there. Uh, do I win £5 for spotting that? Samurai Warrior, I have that. I never really got into it. Um, I couldn't really see what all the fuss was about with it, really. I found it a little bit dull. Um, the Classified Section, Pen Pals, Miscellaneous Stuff, Fanzines. Uh, we get back to the re reviews with Tracksuit Manager which gets 70% uh, football manager style game. Hot shot from Addictive. Um, does well as well. Vectable. Now, I actually have about five copies of this, but I've never uh, played it. Uh, great looking game, but um, average in gameplay by the looks of things, 58%. Eliminator from Alternative. That gets, what does that get? Where's that one score? Uh, oh, that gets 34%. And Droids from Silverbird. That doesn't do too well at all. A few games have got uh, a bit of a kick in, in this um, edition. Barbarian from um, Psygnosis, uh, the other Barbarian, not the Maria Whitaker wolf one. Um, the choppy choppy heads off uh, thing. Uh, He's uh, walking around like he's got something to be proud of. Now, I don't know this game. I have watched videos of it being played, and it doesn't really strike me as the kind of game I would enjoy. Um, 81%. Ninja Scooter Simulator from Silverbird. Can't really make out an awful lot from that sort of screenshot. 70%. Battle Valley from Racket, which I believe was the Hewson um, budget label. Again, can't really sort of see an awful lot of uh, what the game's about there. 74%. Some adverts for the Crash Magazine stuff. Uh, da, da, da. And a competition to win a radio control car. Look at that beast. That looks great fun. Advert for Psycho Pigs UXB. I really, really like that game. Uh, educational software? Nah. Uh, Daytel Electronics. Adverts for various joysticks, interfaces, and gadgets and gizmos. And then we get into the previews. Here we've got um, Ultimate The Collected Works. We have the Jetman cartoon, or comic strip, which was always good fun to read. Really, really great quality artwork there, as ever. Always very humorous as well. Now, when playing the sort of Jetman games, you never sort of uh, had an image of Jetman being this kind of buffoon-like um, person, but that's how the cartoon made him out to be, and it was all the better for it. Uh, preview for Cybernoid, one of the hardest games I've ever played. Mr. Checo, your Checho or Checo, I don't know how to play it. Your games look great, but boy, are they hard. Um, there's Netherworld that had an advert earlier in the edition. Double Dragon. Um, now, I featured this in one of my videos when I, I think it was something about worst arcade conversions. When, sort of like looking back at it, it's not actually as bad, I think, as I made it out. It's not great, but I don't think it. Um, I think there were other far worse uh, arcade conversions than Double Dragon. Uh. Ta Traz, Transformable Arcade Zone. I think that was another Cascade game. Was it? Or was it not? Maybe not. Um, Power Pyramids there. And uh, VHS video reviews and news. And that's it. And we get to an advert for some of the Ocean compilations at the back. Okay. Um... Thanks for that. I hope that sort of uh, you enjoyed that sort of flick through. Um, that's issue number fifty six of Crash Magazine. I always enjoy sort of like looking through these and uh, the other ones I've got. I've got um, a Your Sinclair that I'm going to be uh, doing soon as well. 
If you like the video, please let me know. If you wish to subscribe, please do so. But if you do subscribe, as ever, please, please, please take the time to join in with the conversations because that's what it's all about. Thank you ever so much for watching. Take care and goodbye.